Science Central. <laughs> yeah, just don't let him jump out. For James Davis and his fellow students, holding a frog is a brand new experience. <laughs> The students are part of a program of the St. Louis Science Center studying how frogs, toads, and salamanders, already declining worldwide, are now being affected by climate change. They came to this local pond to listen for mating calls. We can learn a lot by just knowing whether or not frogs are at certain ponds or not. The teens will contribute their observations to a nationwide citizen science website called Frog Watch. Zoologist Andrew Blaustein says such monitoring projects are important because amphibians are especially sensitive to environmental changes. If the climate changes just a little bit, the eggs don't develop, the amphibians don't develop. Not only that, if it gets too extreme, amphibians just die. Writing in the journal Ecology, Blaustein used climate models to predict extinctions or losses over North and South America in the next century. At least 10% of all species face trouble, but the greatest impact is on amphibians. What happens to amphibians now is, is uh, a symbol of what's going on on the planet. A lesson that could be key to preserving experiences like this for future generations. Scares me half to death. Brad Closa, Science Central News.